Hi, my name is Dave Tamalo, and I'm a Big Fix technical advisor based in the Chicago area. I've been working with Big Fix for about 10 years now. If you'd like to connect with me on LinkedIn, you can use the QR code on the screen. When I was deploying it using BigFix as discussed, it's usually in terms of deploying Windows OS images, but BigFix OSD can also be used to deploy Linux images as well. This video will cover how to do that, but it assumes that you already have OS deployment set up and configured in your environment, including having a bare metal server deployed, and also that you have some Linux installation media like an ISO available for use. For this demo, I'm using my laptop where I have VMware Workstation installed. I have a VM to run my BigFix server, a Windows VM running my bare metal server, and a new blank VM that I'll provision with RHEL 7. This is my BigFix console, and I go into systems lifecycle and into OS deployment of bare metal imaging. I go into my image library where I can see a couple of Windows images that I've captured, along with a couple of Linux deployment images from ISOs that I set up previously. With OSD, you can either capture running Linux images or import images from installation media. For this exercise, I'm setting up a new RHEL deployment image using installation media. I select the option import the image and browse to a local copy of my installation ISOs and select the one I want to use. Then I click analyze and the wizard will read the image and give me a summary of the installation types available. I can review my choices, and when I click OK, the, women, the wizard will upload the image to the image library. Now that the image is available in the library, I need to create a bare metal profile of the image to send to the bare metal server. So I select the uh, image and click the option to create a profile. And this brings up a wizard where I can define the deployment choices I'm going to use when deploying this image. I can build different bare metal uh, profiles off the same image to have different deployment choices as needed. In this case, I want to deploy a server with GUI, so I select that from my base environment. I can select, select installation choices like locale, keyboard, and time zone. I can also create a rule for assigning a unique host name when deploying the image. And I can base that rule off of different built-in variables, such as IP address, MAC address, or various properties found in DMI. In this case, I'll create a rule that uses RHEL with the IP address. If I click on the information button, I can see the other available variables I might use. I correct my entry and move on. I also set my root password for this image and confirm it. And then I can select a client version of the agent to install. If I don't select anything, the latest version of the agent will be installed by default. There are optional fields I can choose to fill out too, which I'll select, including the option to prompt for uh, some properties of deployment time. I've selected that so you can see how that works. I'll leave the other optional choices blank for now. I can also set my SE Linux policy, which I will choose to disable for this exercise. I also have the ability, if I need to, of setting my disk and file system partitions for, the, for this profile. If I don't put anything here, it will use the default partitioning, which puts everything under root of the main disk. As an alternative to the wizard, if I'm a Linux Kickstart expert, I can use the manual tab and edit the Kickstart config file directly. Once I've set up my profile definitions, I need to deploy this profile to the bare metal server so that it is available for use when new machines pixie boot. I select the button to send the server, and I also select the option to pre-cache the image to the bare metal server to save time when I do my actual installations. This initiates an action against my bare metal server, so we'll wait for this to complete. And just like any other big fix action, I can monitor the progress of the action if I choose to. Once that's complete, I'll go to the new blank VM that I have and I'll power that up. Since this doesn't have an OS, it'll pixie boot and my bare metal server will respond to the request as you'll see in the menu that comes up in a second. I should note that there are ways for this to auto deploy without operator intervention, but for this exercise, I'm showing the interactive process. 
The menu will list any available profiles, which for this exercise is the one profile I deployed a minute ago. I select the profile and hit return, and this will initiate the deployment process. Now we can watch for a minute while the bare metal server prepares the blank VM for provisioning. Because I set the choice in the profile to be prompted for some of the configuration options, I get this wizard, which allows me to set things like my DNS server and other networking information. I also have the choice, if I want to, of overriding the automatically created host name. I'll choose to leave it as it is and click Finish. Now, through the miracle of video editing software, I'll condense down the execution time of the installation. Usually, on my laptop, given my resource constraints, this part of the process takes about 15 or 20 minutes. We'll cover it in a little less than three minutes here. At this point, you're seeing what what you would see if you were doing the installation manually, but you'll notice the various sections are being selected automatically by the process. Next, it runs through the installation of all the packages included as part of the profile deployment, in this case, a server with GUI. From there, it completes the post installation tasks and it'll do one more reboot. At this point, the new machine is ready, and I can log into the desktop as root. From the desktop, I can navigate down to the Big Fix client directory. And go to the client logs and verify that the client is talking with the Big Fix server. I can also switch to the console and look in the computer view and see the new endpoint reporting in. So that's an example of using BigFix to deploy a Linux OS. I hope you found this helpful and instructive. Here are some QR codes to link you to various BigFix resources on the web. The QR code right above my name links to my email address, so if you have any questions or would like more information on anything, feel free to drop me an email. Thanks for watching and have a great day.